Texas is one of the quickest growing states in the United States and with good cause. Texas is a win for immigrants because of its low cost of living, pleasant weather, optimistic job market, and abundance of things to see and do. In this video, we have listed the 7 best colleges in Texas. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below. And remember to click the notification bell to be the first to know when we upload our videos. The first school on our list is the University of Texas, Austin. The University of Texas Austin has become one of the nation's top universities, with over 40,000 students enrolled. Students in the university are separated into 18 schools and colleges that cover more than 170 distinct disciplines of study. It is not only a large university but also a good one. It is a group of selected institutions known as the Public Ivies, and it offers Ivy League-style reputation, privileges, and job chances. The acceptance rate at the University of Texas Austin is 32%. The middle half of the population scored 1230-1480 in SAT and 26-34 ACT. 40,048 students are currently enrolled in the undergraduate program. The second best college in Texas is Rice University, located in Houston, Texas. Rice University is a select group of elite Southern institutions and colleges known as the Southern Ivies. Rice was founded by a Massachusetts-born industrialist and rivals the grandeur, academic achievement, and difficult admissions of its Northern Ivy League contemporaries. The institution was founded as a present to the city of Houston, where William Marsh Rice acquired his fortune. Rice is noted for its low student-to-faculty ratio, demanding academics, and connected environment, akin to other top-ranked colleges. It has a very competitive acceptance rate of 9%. The middle half of the population score 1460-1570 for their SAT, and the ACT score is 34-36. 4,076 students are currently enrolled in the undergraduate program. Third on our list is Texas Christian University, founded in 1873 as a university where males and females may get a decent education and build character, making it one of the Southwest's first co-education institutions. Texas Christian University isn't exclusively for Christians, despite its name and affiliation with the Christian Church. It is a place of residence for learners of more than 60 different faiths and origins and does not force students to take any Christian courses. It is located in Fort Worth, Texas, and has a reasonably loose acceptance rate of 48%. The middle half of the population scores 1120 to 1310 for their SAT, while for the ACT, it is 25 to 31. 9704 students are enrolled in the undergraduate program. The fourth college on this list is Trinity University. In 1869, the Presbyterian Church established Trinity University, offering liberal arts and pre-professional degrees. Every certificate offered by Trinity is built on the Pathways program, which consists of six academic qualifications and three optional parts. Trinity is known for its trademark red brownstones and oak tree dotted campus, which lies on a mountaintop above San Antonio, the seventh largest city in the United States. The acceptance rate at Trinity University is 33%. The middle half of the population score 1270 to 1420 for their SAT, while for the ACT, it is 28 to 33. 2,504 students are enrolled in the undergraduate program. Fifth is the Southern Methodist University. Because of a disagreement between the Methodist Church and Vanderbilt University, Southern Methodist University was created in 1911. As a result, the ministry severed connections with Vanderbilt and established Southern Methodist University as its flagship university. SMU retains ties with the Methodist Church, but its curriculum is non-sectarian, and it accepts students of all religious backgrounds. More than 4 million publications are stored in Southern Methodist University's eight facilities, making it the biggest private repository of study resources in the Southwest. It is located in Dallas, Texas, and the acceptance rate is 
The middle half of the population score 1250 to 1440 for their SAT, while for the ACT, it is 29 to 33. 6,827 students are enrolled in the undergraduate program. Sixth is Baylor University. Baylor University earned the title of being Texas's oldest surviving and functioning institution. The Republic of Texas established it in 1845 with the help of Baptist pioneers. Baylor is known for its commitment to community service, the college is a place of residence to the first campus branch of Habitat for Humanity, and students, teachers, and staff donate more than 150,000 hours each year. Located in Waco, Texas, the acceptance rate of Baylor University is 68%. The average SAT score is 1200 to 1350, while ACT is 26 to 31. 14,399 students are enrolled in the undergraduate program. Lastly, we have Texas A&M University. Texas A&M holds the record of being the government's second largest institution. With its Corps of Cadets, which was founded as a military institution, today it has the largest uniformed body of undergraduates outside of the United States military institutions. Reveille, the rugged collie who serves as Texas A&M's mascot and is also known as the First Lady of Aggieland, is the Corps of Cadets' highest-ranking member. Reveille 9 resigned in 2021, and Reveille X took over as university mascot. Located at College Station, Texas, it has an acceptance rate of 63%. The middle half of the population is 1170 to 1380 on the SAT, while ACT is 26 to 32. 55,568 students are enrolled in the undergraduate program. We hope this video was worth your time. Be sure to leave your thoughts, questions, and contributions in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be the first to watch new videos on this channel.